Varsity, a tale of two universities, a new heated rivalry. It started in 2016, 20 points available at the home of Chester. Chester took the victory. The rematch, 2017, Salford's turn to host. 12 8 to the home side, 1 1. 2018 rolls around, Chester take the trophy at home again. 2019, bigger and better, 23 sports to choose from. Salford win this one, 13-10. The score so far, 2-2. Covid put plans on hold. And then comes 2022. Chester welcomes Salford for the first time in three years. Salford have the trophy, but can they do what no team has done before and win away from home? Across three days, 29 points available, but who will take the crown? win on only two occasions this season. For Salford, after a tough season, they arrive on the back of six straight defeats, having won only one away from home so far this season. It may be a big ask, but can Salford add to the three previous wins in this fixture's history? Well, it's going to be a hard-fought fight, and joining me to go through it today is Adam Clark and Courtney Holder. Guys, how are you doing? I'm so good. I am so pumped for today. Amazing. It's been um, amazing, hasn't it? How, what have you been up to today? What have you been watching? Loving the, I'm just loving everything about it. I've been down to Rugby League today and they absolutely smashed it. The guys were on top form. Chester were, you know, they, their defence, amazing. But I think everything I've seen today has just been so good. Everyone's really putting their all into this. It is incredible. Fantastic. And Adam, you've been everywhere today. Well, what have yeah. you seen? <laughs> well, I don't think there's a, an inch of this compass that I, I've not covered. Um, sort of started off with Ultimate Frisbee. Saw the men's and women's football, both very uh, dramatic. Saw a bit of the swimming, uh, table tennis, saw a bit of everything really, yeah. And what I will say, you guys have been spending a lot of time outdoors. It's been really cold here in Chester, hasn't it? It has been horrid. I feel lucky to have come back with my toes after being at rugby. I was absolutely freezing. I was just dancing on the spot, trying to just get myself warm. It was horrible, but it was worth it to see the win. It was worth it. I thought you were going to say it's worth it to be indoors now, because it is nice that we are finally back indoors. <laughs> it's lovely Warming here. up slowly. Loving it. Um, the game, it's going to be a big one. We've got a few stats for you here. So Salford, it's been two all apparently in this fixture's history, right? After Saturday, Salford's season, it's not been going great, has it? They haven't really been able to push They've for any They've not been victories. doing as much as they could be, but you know what? There's always time for redemption, you know? We're at Varsity. This is the big one. Time to get their heads in the game. Exactly. Adam, what do you reckon? Yeah, it certainly is. It's certainly a free hit. You mentioned Salford's um, form this season. It, it's not been the, the great. You could say it's the sort of... Um, Football, uh, FA Cup analogy for football, sort of the non-league team going up against the league team. It's certainly a, a free hit for Salford. Chester, they'll be confident to, to come into this one with a win. Uh, their fans um, sort of arriving as the, the players go through the, the warm-up, so they'll be confident, but I think Salford, as the underdog, uh, have got to be confident as well. And they really are the underdogs, aren't they? A whole league below the competitors, so it's going to be a real ass to kind of come here and say, well, you know what, that doesn't matter. How are they going to cope with the pressure added on top of that? Well, I just think that it's going to make that win all the more beautiful when they get it. Like when I they have, win. When they win, I have full impartial. faith in them. I'm impartial, but you know what? I, I've, I've got faith in them. I really think they can do it. Well, it's great that you have got the faith because Chester finished third in the Northern Division 1. So they were, wow. only, they were so close to actually winning the league itself. So Salford really are, as you say, Adam, they are the underdogs. But can they just get past that finishing line? Because as we know today, the scores, it's looking so close, isn't it? Yeah, it, it certainly is. And I think may it or may it not come down to, to this basketball. It, it's been a, a great day for, for Salford. Quite a few of the statistical um, facts of, of all the, the different sports uh, that we've had today. I haven't been going in Salford's favour um, and the, the sort of prevailed 
um, in that and hopefully that continues with the, the basketball tonight. And I don't want to be the negative person here, but no side has taken the overall varsity crown away from home in the history. It's two all, but everyone has been won in their hometowns. So how are Salford going to take it away from home this year? Do you see it happening? I do, I do see it happening. And I think they're determined, they've got people around them. I think, you know, they've got the support that they need and that they can do it. I mean, we've seen them warming up, like they're looking good. They're, they're now in their great. team huddle. I think they're doing a brilliant job. I mean, Chester still warming up. Salford look like they've done enough warming up. They look I like know. they're ready to get on the pitch. <laughs> <laughs> they're they're, they're eager to go, they're just like ready. <laughs> Honestly, it's looking really exciting. I'll tell you what, I personally haven't played basketball myself, but watching the warm-ups, they're intense, aren't they? They certainly are, and I think a lot of the the sports we've seen today have, have been quite um, quite intense. <laughs> As the crowd... Um, you can hear the crowd, it, it oh, yeah, wow. is, <laughs> hard to miss them. It certainly is. I, I think one of these, uh, one of these sports... <laughs> The, Honestly, the crowd saying that you've hit the someone, I can't quite make it out. <laughs> no, we've, we've, see, we've, seen, we've seen the netball and, and that was quick and, and off the pace and I think the basketball will be exactly the same. Fantastic. Honestly, how do you see this going? Got any score predictions? Are we are we gonna take it? I'm going, I'm going 80-70 to Salford. Mm. I, thi I, I think it's gonna be a bit wild, but sure. we're gonna just take it, I think. Adam, how about yourself? Yeah, I think Salford will get it, 75-62. Interesting. And what's been your favourite sport today, other than the basketball, which you're obviously here for? What's been your favourite sport to watch today? Uh, volleyball. 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 It was here, wasn't it, it as well? It was right here. We were watching it this afternoon, and me and you were just like, let's go. It was incredible. It was so interesting to watch. I've, I've never watched a full game of volleyball before, and it was actually just, it was, it was so intense. It was, and you could really hear the crowd going for it, and I don't think they really knew when it was going to end. It just yeah. kept going and going and going. Adam, how about yourself? Did you say you watched all the Frisbee earlier today? Yeah, I think for a... I tell you what, guys, the crowds that we're seeing behind us... They are us, loving it. They are so ready for this final picture. It's getting really exciting. It's packed. It's crazy. It's I, think, crazy I think just on the ultimate Frisbee, I think it's, Honestly, a, yeah. it's a very uh, strange sport. I sort of stood there. there was the, the first sport that was on this morning, um, and we were looking at, at how... Well, it was sort of a very strange... So trying to get the no, to know the rules of the Absolutely. Was, was going on. I'll tell you what, guys, we're going to have to have a look at the score so far. We're going to see what's happening. Let's take a look at them now. Magic, the gods above are watching now, and they've said this is going to be the game to decide it. Is that more pressure for the players? Well, they, I think they just wanted to make it so much more exciting. I think what will end to the day to have basketball, the biggest game that they've got, to be the deciding factor of this. I, it's ridiculous. Oh, like, what a... What a can't even think of the word. <laughs> and Adam, you've been checking up all day with the score. Has it been one side taking the lead? Has it been level pegging? It's, yeah, it's been a bit of, bit of both, really. Uh, I think the, the sort of most lead that either side has had has been about two points, I think, sort of early afternoon. Um, Chester were, were running away with it, but then sort of, of pegged back throughout um, the afternoon. That last game we saw on here, the, the netball, that was key for Salford. Uh, they managed to, to get through that in the end, despite some uh, late Chester pressure. But... Like I said, I think what we're about to see on, on here uh, tonight is, uh, is key. Just watching that scoreboard go up is ridiculous. Honestly, it's crazy. I just can't believe it because I think, as you said today, it's literally been a case of we kn we've no idea which way it's going to have gone and then it's happened and we thought, well, maybe we'll be here later and it's going to happen. It's just crazy. See which way that, that basketball tips <laughs> right at the beginning. Anyway, <laughs> we were there actually for a fixture this Wednesday, I believe, which is where Salford 2s took on Chester 2s in the early fixture. We might be able to have a look at that. Chester visited Salford for the basketball seconds match, a point to kickstart Varsity for the winner. Chester started strong, taking an early lead, but Salford fought hard to stay in it, jeered on by their supporters. Good counter-attacking play put Chester in the lead after the first quarter. A quick flurry in the second put the host back in it with number 12 making some great throws. The host stuck at it and fought back to an almost even scoreline but the visitors kept chipping away. After a short dance break at the half, it was back to it. 
and more of the same for Chester. They capitalise on unlucky mistakes. For all they tried, the Salford side couldn't quite find a way to make it back into the game. After a big final team talk, Salford pushed on, gaining quick points, but the scoreline slid away from them again. The task was just too big for the home side to handle. Now, but when we cut to the cameras for the actual game, yeah. the fans are packed. We've had 10 coaches arrive today, yeah. about 600 fans watching. Yeah, and that's just from us. Who knows how many Chester have got? I mean, the atmosphere from both ends is absolutely just so intense. And they're all underneath us here as well. So we really have sort of got ourselves in the thick of it. And absolutely. you know what? I, I honestly feel like it is building me up so much, like more than I expected. Honestly, and I think the score has just been filtering around. I think they're slowly the words getting around that this game, it means a lot. Ooh. The collections are going off. We're going to go to our commentators now to join us for the game, Adam Clark and Ben Workman. Welcome to the Down Sports Centre at Chester University. We are here to watch Salford University take on Chester University in the Basketball at Varsity 2022. They're just finishing off their warm-up before they take to the floor for the final time. This game is an incredibly important game in Varsity 2022, as this may very well determine the winner, as we are currently, uh, Salford are currently leading 13-12 in the competition but this could swing it or it could tie the game and there's still some more scores to come in which we'll keep you updated with as we go along in the evening. Yeah, definitely, Ben. It's going to be an interesting um, one here. Just, uh, as you said, the teams uh, just finishing um, their warm-up table tennis and American football uh, still to be confirmed over the next uh, hour or so as they uh, finish uh, their sports. Last we heard, American football uh, was lead, uh, sort of were leading by 14 points uh, to nil. As for table tennis, uh, we weren't too sure um, what was going there, but we did hear reports uh, that uh, Salford were leading in that one as well. We will uh, let you know um, what's uh, going on on that as soon as we uh, can bring it to you. As you can see, that the crowd um, is gathering and it, it certainly is going to be the, the one to watch today. It's a very raucous atmosphere. As, uh, if you watch our build-up show, you can probably hear over our present presenters that... Uh, the crowd are right up for this one, they're in high spirits and they're really looking forward to this and it's going to be a great atmosphere as we get going and it's only going to get louder and more intense. Yeah, it certainly is Ben and you can see the uh, the Chester fans uh, away to our left on the uh, on the gantry here, they uh, stand up if you, you hate Salford, I'm sure the Salford fans will have a, uh, a counter chant uh, to that um, very shortly but no, it's a, it's a great atmosphere. Um, and yeah, it's uh, all live here on, on Keys TV. We're going to be uh, starting in about five minutes' time. And this is an interesting game, not only because it's a varsity game, but obviously because Salford have lost their last six and only won one away this season. And Chester are, in fact, in a higher league than Salford, which makes it a very interesting game. They are hot favourites. But the varsity form, the varsity history over the recent years, is with Salford. They have won the past three. Obviously, the last two haven't happened because of COVID and have been disrupted, but they have won the last three. So the history and form is with Salford, but the season's form is with Chester. So it's all sort of all to play for, all up in the air. Yeah, definitely. And like I was saying over in the uh, the presentation area a, a short time ago, it, it's all going to come down to... So they sort of potentially all going to uh, come down to this. You can see the, the Salford players uh, warming up um, on your uh, on your screens now, and I think I don't think they'll be feeling the pressure. Uh, like I said, there it's going to be a, a free hit from a Salford perspective. Chester, they're going to come in with the confidence, knowing they've got the the form. I don't think Chester will be too concerned about their their varsity form of of later. I think it's all about um, what they can do and what they've done in the, the league this season. And it will be interesting to see how the two teams approach it. I'm sure they'll approach it differently. They'll be trying to keep calm as possible 
but and they won't try and let the nerves get to them. But on a stage like this, with the noise, with the crowd that is a that is a mass over the recent minutes, with the gantry upstairs up, up with us, absolutely full, it, it's going to be a it's going to be a great atmosphere. And who knows, one team might get nervous. They might not be as calm as like one team might be, you know, cool as cucumber as they say, and be really really ready for it. And I'll, so it'll be interesting to see how they come out and how the coaches have prepared them. Definitely, you can see the. Uh the crowd there uh, in vision on your uh, on your screens there the uh, orange t-shirts of uh, Salford uh, a number of them have made the trip uh, east to uh, Cheshire uh, today and uh, yeah what a what a great uh, a great atmosphere this is and obviously Ben it's it's the the end of the day the last sport um, many of the the players of the the earlier sports have have made the way over here to the uh, sports hall to, to hear and to, to watch this game and, and to see how uh, how this get up, gets on, which will uh, obviously start, I think, in about two and a half minutes' time. Yeah, and like, like you say, all the sports people from various different sports have joined and are watching courtside, and that's what the varsity brings you. It brings you a real community spirit with your university. You know, we've had in this sports hall alone this afternoon, we've had volleyball, we then moved on to the netball, we've had dance groups and all of those have stayed to support their fellow university students, their fellow university in the coming events and they've stayed in for the uh, basketball tonight and they've come from football, from rugby, uh, from all across the uh, from the from the Chester campus and there and it's really built a great atmosphere and you can only imagine what the scenes are going to be like once one of them wins it. Uh, with this with this crowd here it's going to be quite amazing it, it certainly is and you, you can see um, that the crowd building here and I, I think that obviously once American football and, and table tennis has, has finished um, across the way um, on the uh, Morgo pitch and in the uh, small uh, sports hall uh, across the way here I, I think that'll it'll only uh, get busier here as uh, you can see the crowd um, once again um, and I think um, you, you never know, Ben. This crowd may make or break this game. Um, I hope you can still hear us because it is very loud um, here in the uh, sports hall. So you, you never know. This uh, this crowd uh, could make or break this game. And it might change as the results filter in, as they hear of the results from table tennis and of ta and of American football, and obviously of that extra point that they get through cheerleading. Who gets that? It could change it all. It could all be very, very different. We'll see. We'll see what happens. Um, and it could all change. It could all change in a dime on a, on a coin flip. It's uh, it's going to be very, very interesting. We have 45 seconds to go until tip off. The team are just getting their final instructions from their coaches. Their final team huddle, and before they head out onto the court for tip off. As you can see, Salford are going through their final preparations. Coach handing out instructions, telling them what to do and telling them how to approach it. I'm sure if we tell them to relax and calm down and do what they know they can do and perform the way they know they can. Yeah, It'll definitely. Be interesting. As you see, he walked out of shot, hyping up the Salford crowd. It'll be super interesting. Only a couple more seconds to go before tip off. Yeah, indeed. We're just at that few more seconds. And like I was saying, it's it's a great atmosphere it's a great spectacle three years off from this and you can see exactly what it means to uh, to this crowd and to these players and it is such a shame but obviously we've had the COVID-19 pandemic that has disrupted it but it is such a great thing to have back varsity sport is such a great great thing to have back and uh, this is why we do it it's a close it's a close, uh, close tie race this year in varsity 2020 and we are going to see a great game and this is going to be the atmosphere alone will carry it along, but it should be very, very interesting. It, it certainly will. We've not even had tip off yet, and the uh, you can hear the the, the fans. Um, you can hear the fans going. Um, I think that's probably prompted by our uh, cameraman Connor Gilmore on the uh, on the front row of the crowd there as he uh, walks up and down. But a uh, a great uh, a great atmosphere here. So yeah, as we say, we're just. Uh, a few seconds away now and the referee has the players are out on the court and the referee has assembled the two the two jump men in the middle for the tip off and they get ready and tip off is away and Salford will have the opening possession of the game the tip off is controlled by Salford point guard number 89 is taking it up the court oh and it's been intercepted by, by 
by Chester early. And it's a shooting foul. Shooting foul from by, committed by Salford. Poor, poor from Salford for immediately. They gave the ball away and gave the Ch Chester a chance to run out on the fast break and they've committed a foul. Yeah, it's not a, a start that, that they'll want, uh, Ben. I think they'll be uh, hoping that uh, Chester don't capitalise on this early mistake. So two free throws come in. And he's missed it. It's a 1-0 to 1-0 to Chester. Shot misses from Chester there. Three-point shot misses. Salford now bring it up the court. Salford nearly lose the ball again. The ball is fumbled, but it's picked up taken into the post a lovely little bounce pass but it is missed the shot is missed by Salford and Chester look get out to run three point shot is made by Chester they dribbled it up the court and a quick little handoff and a three point shot by Chester who was, was successful 4-0 Chester in the early stages yeah indeed and sort of the, the first minute of this uh, quarter and Chester have, have been able to to capitalise, you can see the, the pace of the, the Chester side as they're uh, looking to launch another attack there, but... Uh... Yeah, Salford committed another sloppy turnover in the early stages. Ball was thrown up court, uh, but Chester, the Chester player couldn't uh, couldn't take it. The Salford player stole it off him, but unfortunately stepped out of bounds, so it is Chester ball under the basket. And that's a shot, three-point shot missed, and a rebound by Salford, and it's going to be taken up the court again. Salford really need to sort of relax and get into their offence here and sort of get into their own rhythm. Not make too many rash plays or, or be try and force anything. Just need to take their time. That's a lovely move in the post, but unfortunately the centre has missed the shot underneath the basket. Rebound by Chester and they take it off the court again. Yeah, they're looking to, to move it down this uh, right-hand side, but well defended there. It's a good rebound by, by Salford. They look to set up their half court offense. Number seven just positioning his players, running the set plays that he wants and getting people where he wants them. He's got to be careful not to travel there. Jump shot from the top of the key and missed by Salford. Missed by Salford. But the ball was tipped out of bounds by Chester and Salford have regained possession on the sideline. Yeah, they certainly are. Nearly another steal by Chester there. But they have committed a foul, been overly aggressive. There's a reach-in foul on number zero of Chester. Passing to the corner and a dribble into the middle. Oh, and Salford have missed another. Very, very close. Bounced off the rim and out. It is Chester ball. Yeah, very close from a, a Salford perspective there. They seem to be settling down a little bit more. They seem to be getting into their rhythm and not trying to rush it or force passes now. They just need to see that ball go into the basket to gain a little bit of confidence. Step back three by Chester, and it is well short. Well short, he's airballed that one, I'm afraid. Salford ball. Yeah, indeed. As, uh, Salford will be looking to, to get an early, uh, or to get something back in the... We've played three minutes of this uh, quarter so far. They'll be looking to, to get some points on the board before this quarter's over. You can see the, the coach of, of Salford's in the, the right of your, your screen there, giving some uh, instructions. Chester have committed another reaching foul. That is on number nine. That is his second of the game, I believe. That was his second of the game. That was poor by Salford. That was poor. They threw the ball in, unable to... I'm not able to regain possession and they've lost it out of bounds. Chester ball. Yeah, indeed. As, uh... Three point shot by Chester, misses again. That one didn't even hit the rim, just sailed over the rim. Salford looked to push the pace, but they've turned the ball over yet again. And that's an easy layup. For easy layup. For 
Chester in the fast break. Bypass all the defenders in the paint and was an easy layup. Salford have given the ball away again. Chester are looking to punish them. It's three on, it's five on three. It's three point shot by Chester and he's missed it. He's missed it. He's 0 for three. No, he's 0 for three on three point shots. Salford player there lost the handle, but a reaching foul has been committed. Number five committed that one. Number five has committed a reaching foul. That is Chester's third foul of the quarter. They're only four minutes in or three and a half minutes in and they've committed three fouls. Yeah, some of the both both sides have got to be careful of committing silly and, and reckless fouls. That, that is what could impact them. Another three-point shot missed by Chester there. You can see their game plan. They very much like the three-point shot but it is unfortunately high risk, high reward. As I say that, as I say that, he fakes a three-point shot, dribbles it into the middle for a layup. Chester leads 7-0, minute, uh, five minutes into the quarter, or four minutes and four seconds into the quarter. A timeout has been called by Salford. Yeah, it certainly has. Um, they'll be looking to, to regroup uh, in the uh, early stages of this one. They'll just need to take some time, take it to some deep breaths, compose themselves, get into the rhythm of what they're trying to do. Try and not force things, because unfortunately right now all they're doing is seeming to try and force it on the offensive end, and it's led to turnovers and easy baskets for Chester. Having said that, Salford have managed to put Chester under some pressure, made them commit fouls. It's just that last step of converting those mistakes and getting some points on the board. Definitely, you can see the Salford coaching staff going through some instructions with the players. Chester looking very much relaxed as they make their way back onto court from the timeout. And in terms of Chester, all they'll have to do is they'll have to keep it calm, they'll have to stop committing fouls, but that's easy enough done. They're just getting into the rhythm of it, but they'll be very happy with their start, forcing turnovers, not allowing anything easy on the defensive end and get into the basket and scoring easy points on the offensive end. Yeah, definitely is. The, the clock restarts once again. Salford looking to make some moves down the left-hand channel as it's infield from Salford as they look to get the point there just off the right-hand corner of the... Uh, Salford have, the stolen, post. Salford have stolen the ball. Chester sort of merely gave it away on the fast break. Three point shot for Salford, oh. and it is no good, but the offensive rebound and lay in, and that is the first point on the board for Ch Salford in varsity 2022 in the basketball. Very easy, they crashed the offensive board, they got the lay in very nice indeed. That'll help them gain some confidence. But Chester respond with a three point shot. Almost imminently there. They're barely down the other end long before they got that one off and it was very good, well worked, easy shot for them. High off the backboard, shot from Salford, offensive rebound. And 89 and Salford has been deemed to have travelled the ball, he did not bounce the ball, he took two steps, therefore Chester will get the ball back. Lovely footballing skills from the Chester. Chester player there doing a couple of keepy uppies under the basket. Yeah, definitely. They're looking to uh, to cement themselves in this game. And there's a foul by Salford. There's a reaching foul. Salford's second foul of the game. And number 13's first. Chester will have the ball out of bounds on the, on the left-hand sideline. And they get a wide open three point shot and they make it yet again. They're hotting up from outside now. It's 13 2. They have an 11 point lead six minutes into the contest. This is not good from Salford. It's not good from their point of view. Yeah, it's as I said, they, they seem to be able to, to break and, and get a point from absolutely nowhere. And Salford lucky to return there, but uh, intercepted well by Chester as they look to make the move down centre field, it's gone out right, in from there, another, and another, another, 
His second of the game. His second of the game, and he's feeling himself right now. It's brilliant offense. They've crashed the offensive board. They've gone out and run, and they've found the open man. It's simple stuff, but they've executed it really, really well, and it's worked out. They're now 14 points ahead. Another missed shot by Salford. Another missed shot on the right-hand wing. Shooting foul committed by Salford. He'll go to the line for two shots. He went up for a layup and got caught on the arm as he was in the motion of shooting. Two shots from the free throw line coming up. And substitutions are coming in now. Substitutions are being made. Salford are only making one change. They're only making one change. Chester have not made any. Chester are unchanged from their starting lineup. And he's missed the first of two. He's missed the first free throw of two. He gears up to take the second. And he's missed the second. He's 0 for 2 on that trip to the free throw line. Salford fans very much enjoyed that one. They've not had much to scream and shout about, 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 but that is one of them. That is an opportunity. Well, we've just got the latest on the uh, American football. Chester leading in that one by 26 points to 20. Salford were leading by 14 points to nil in that one. So that has been a bit of a turnaround there. How long to go? How long left in the game? Not too sure on that one. Backcourt violation there. Backcourt violation. He stepped over the halfway line and then stepped back with the ball. That is a backcourt violation. The ball goes to Salford. There's another substitution for Salford. Number eight has come in. Number eight for Salford has come in. It checked into the game. And he's immediately had the ball stolen off him. Chester and ran up the court and they've faked him out and they've dunked it in the other end. It was a slam dunk by Chester there. They are up by 16 points. And Salford have lost control of the ball and it's gone out of bounds. Chester ball. I haven't got the stats in front of me, but that has got to be at least the fifth or sixth turnover by Salford in this first quarter. And it's just led to easy baskets by Chester, and it's made it very, very easy for them to score on the offensive end. Yeah, definitely leading, <coughs> excuse me, by... There's another three-pointer by Chester. Another three-pointer, that's his third of the game. Brilliant. It was a well-contested shot, well defended, but he still somehow managed to make the shot. Quite unbelievable, really. It's polar opposites at the minute. Salford can't can't even can't can't make a shot. They can't get into their own rhythm. Whereas Chester, everything seems to be coming quite easily to them, and they're finding their rhythm as they fire another three-pointer. That one is off the mark. That's just, but they get the offensive rebound. Dribble driving to the plate. Little floater, and it's gone in. Salford have only one managed one bucket. Chester lead 23 to two. The lovely little move, the dribble penetration, a little floater in the paint. It was very, very nice. As Salford have a shot blocked by the... And it's another turnover by Salford. Given away, look to give a little bounce pass into the paint. And he's missed it. But he has hit his fourth three-pointer of the game. His fourth three-pointer in this quarter. He has really been the ignition for them on offense and he has really helped them out. Salford need to stop giving the ball away like they just have again. They're giving easy buckets. Easy buckets away. It's sloppy mistakes. It's not taking care of the ball. With a less than a minute to go now in the quarter. Yeah. Less than a minute. And that was an Ill another ill-advised offensive possession there. Yeah, Chester. Absolutely dominating in this one. 
missed three points by Chester there. But when you've been hitting them like they have so far in this game, why wouldn't you throw it? Why wouldn't you give it a go? Rimmed in and out from Salford, but on the offensive rebound and the putback layup, Salford have got their second basket of the game. 28-4 now it stands, 28-4. Less than 20 seconds to go. Chester will look to hold out for the final possession of the quarter. A dribble into the paint, a kick out to the three-point line, but the three-pointer was missed. There is five seconds left. Can Salford get a shot off? And that's a shooting foul just before the buzzer went off. Shooting foul, Salford. He will go to the line. He will go to the line for two shots. He got the shot off just before the buzzer expired. We're just waiting. We're just waiting for the, the we're just waiting for the three throws to be taken. And he's missed. Oh. And the highlights you've been showing. The Really taking it to Salford on the defensive end. Salford have not been able to stop them, but it's been their own fault with turnovers. Yeah, it certainly has been. You're just looking at the, the highlights there and the, the domination from a, a Chester perspective that the three pointers that we, we talked about, they've been in uh, and at them from minute one, uh, and the, the leading by. Uh, a number of points here we've got about a minute left of the, the break at the end of this first quarter the Salford fans are still in great voice uh, down in front of us here but uh, it's an uphill battle from a Salford perspective um, with a lot of ground to make up 23 after the first quarter they've got a minute left in this in this quarter break this will be an important team talk from the coach now how does he rally the troops after such a uh, tough first quarter he's going to have to really inspire them to uh, get going and to, to find some offense and to get into a rhythm it's going to be very very difficult yeah yeah definitely it's it's going to be a, a, a difficult one from a, a Salford perspective but as I said before maybe the crowd will, will make or break this game the lack of offence from Salford has really allowed the Chester home crowd to get into it, get on their backs, and support their team. It's been uh, it's been tough watching for Salford views, for Salford fans out of down below, it's been tough watching. But let's hope that their team can get them back on the way and for the, for the better second quarter. Yeah, indeed, as, as more fans uh, begin to arrive uh, away to our left in the, the already uh, cramped second half of the, the gantry that uh, hasn't been able, either taken up by ourselves or, or shock radio so um, the, there's still people are arriving as we said American football and table tennis uh, still ongoing so uh, I think it's one of the, the volleyball teams that's uh, just arrived back um, and Chester going here again Up and he's gone to the line. He's missed the first free throw. He's taken his second now. And he's made that one. Now I think that on six trips to the line, I think that is their first mate. Um, but it hasn't hampered them too much as they're currently by 24. Another turnover by Salford and a quick outlet pass has allowed, has allowed their guard to get ahead. Salford have regrouped well on defence though, they're all there. The three-point shot, but it is missed, but it's rebounded straight to Chester. Another three-point shot, missed, but this time rebounded by Salford. They've taken it up the court now. And they look to get into their offensive set. It's a three-point shot from Salford and it is missed. Defensive rebound by Chester. They're shooting very quickly in the shot clock now, Salford, and it's not not going to plan. They're missing it, and Chester just getting the defensive rebound and being allowed to run and get into the flow and the rhythm of their own game. Yeah, indeed, and I think this is playing exactly as Chester wants it, um, leading by 24 points um, early in this second quarter as the Salford go there once again. Missed three-point shot, 
rebounded by Salford, followed up by another three-pointer, which was duly missed. But the rebound was claimed by Chester with an outlet pass that didn't go to hand and out of bounds. Salford ball once again. Yeah, indeed, as they uh, move down this right-hand side. Looking to push it inside and Salford very unlucky there on the follow-up. I don't want to say the comeback's on, but it's a, it's a start from a, a Salford perspective with two points on the board there. Great determination there. He gathered his own miss and he put it back in. What you need, he needs to be active to get second chance points. Chester have just had another three-pointer miss from the top of the key. Salford are looking to get out and run. They're in the paint, they're in the key. And that's a layup, two on the bounce, a lovely spin move to give himself some space. And he laid it up off the glass. He certainly did, but uh, as we can see, Chester making themselves known as they look to cause some more chaos here as they look to get in, but it's well defended by Salford. Wide open layup miss there, but they grabbed the de defensive rebound. They brought it up the court, looking to find that, looking to find that some enthusiasm, some mojo back. Two baskets in a row, they're looking to gain their offense, but they've just thrown it away, out of bounds to Chester. Chester ball as a substitution for Chester comes in. Number seven sits. Number seven for Chester sits. And number eight, five has come in. Shot from the top of the key from number 10, Chester, and he has drained it once again, like he's done so many other shots in this in this game. He has really been, the, he has really been their catalyst on offense, and that was a lovely jump shot from the top of the key. Salford unlucky there to just tip round the basketball. Salford, uh, Chester, in fact, on the break as they get in once again. 33-9, the lead. Wide open fast break there. Lovely little out there's pass and gave him a free shot. But it all came from Salford to take. A lovely little spinning jump up there from Salford. They're in double figures now, 33-11. Well, we very much saw this in the, the seconds game uh, a couple of weeks, or last Wednesday. Um, there was a lot of sort of difference uh, of the, the scores as the uh, F Salford um, looked like the call in the time out there. But uh, 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 we, we saw a lot of changes uh, from a, a Salford perspective, um, as you saw in the, the VT in the, the build-up. Um, Salford looked at to come back towards the, the last quarter, but couldn't quite get as, as many points on the, the board as they, they wanted to. The Salford coach, you can see in vision there, going through the, the instructions um, with his players. Quite a, a height difference in the, the Salford uh, side, some of them um, a lot. Uh, taller than others you can see that three-pointer from a, a Chester perspective once again and, and Salford clawing it back we talked about the recovery um, from Salford there in, in that one and what a, a great shot it was Salford as we said when they've got the opportunity they, they've been able to to get on the uh, on the offensive and, and get some points um, on the board uh, leading 30 oh, it's Chester leading 33-11 as we are uh, about to restart this uh, second quarter. And the, the key is in that, in the first half of that quarter, Salford forced mistakes from Chester and they punished those mistakes which they did not do in the first quarter. In the first quarter, Chester made far too many made some mistakes and Salford did not, did not punish them by scoring on the offensive end. That is beginning to change in this. If it continues to change and they continue that pressure, Salford could be on for a little bit of a comeback. They certainly could, um, as uh, Salford looked to, to make a break here as it's over on that left-hand side, but uh, the number 13 for Salford couldn't quite get on the end of it. He's a tall man, and that sailed well, well over his head. That shows you how sort of uncontrolled that pass was, unfortunately. It was the right idea, but the execution was just a little bit off. Yeah, indeed, Salford have to defend here is Chester get the ball over the top but they're looking to come on the break now are Salford and there it is it's those easy buckets again it was a fast break that they're able to get out and run and they got an easy score 
Chester go again from the right hand side. Just uh, 20 point deficit. Chester, another three pointer. And of course, of course, he's made it. Salford back on the offensive end. Oh, a layup has just missed. He's got all the way around. Jump shot. No, well wide and missed. Well wide. Chester looking to get into their offense again. Wide open three point shot and it's made. Chester are just finding those pockets of space where they've got a free player and they're making Salford pay for it. Yeah, they certainly are. And I think that's been the story of for both sides. Both sides have been able to exploit the other's mistakes. Another wide open three pointer. Another wide open three pointer from Chester. Just adding a couple of the wounds of Salford. He was wide open. And as we've seen from the first quarter, you cannot leave him wide open and he's made them play once again. Yeah, certainly. Rebound by Chester and they're back out on the run. Chester missing the shot there from the left hand side. Salford moving forward again. Sits in there. A lovely move inside. The beat his defender off the dribble and got an easy layup. Lovely move. There have been pockets where, where Salford have had those lovely moves and it looks to change but it hasn't quite happened. hopefully they can make this one stick and ride this momentum yeah definitely is they look to move down again they've crossed over the halfway line look for a two point shot here or a three point shot maybe and it's off the uh, side of the net off the right rim there and out of play is Chester Ball that substitution's being made by both teams. Chester have made two substitutions. Salford have made two substitutions, rather. Salford's coach barking instructions from the sideline, hoping to try and coach his team through this difficult patch in this game. Yeah, definitely a, a tough time in the game for Salford. They've got to get back sooner rather than later as Chester coming again from the left hand side but wide three points are missed there wide three points are missed Salford bring it up the court three point shot from Salford and that one is wide as well but it's given Chester the opportunity to get out and run but the pass was overthrown and it's out of play for the Salford ball and he's getting rather busy here at uh, the sports hall as more and more people seem to arrive away to our left everyone trying to get a, a view of this one got about three minutes left of this quarter uh, coming together there between the two players another turnover from Salford through the pass ahead turned it over off to number 10 Chester and Unlike he has most of the time in this game. He missed the three-point shot, but Salford are giving it straight back to Chester. Another three, a pass inside. To the centre who kicks it out. Chester looking to find a shot, a dribble, and a shot high off the glass. Lay up high off the glass and in. A couple of bobbles around the rim, but they've got it in. They can't seem to miss the minute. It's 45-15 to Chester. Almost 30 points behind Salford, and we're only we've got two minutes remaining in the second in the second quarter. We've got 20 more minutes of this to go. Another three-pointer by Chester. It's non-stop, non-stop. It's a high-risk strategy shooting a lot of threes in basketball, but they're seemingly once you, when you make them high reward and they are making them as yeah you can, they certainly and that, are and that's shown in the, in the 32 point lead that they've, they've and there we're Chester getting in again there but it's 
cannoning off the rim of the uh, the net. close indeed but it's again come from a Salford mistake come from a Salford mistake they've given the ball away Chester have been able to get out on the fast break Salford looking to make a break before the end of this quarter and here he is Salford dangerous on the counter attack about a minute remaining in this quarter. Oh. For, uh, presenter Luca Hughes Pipe is going to make it back through the crowd here, and Salford go once again. But it's what we've been saying. They forced the chest mistake, and they've got out on the fast break, and they've made them pay. They just haven't done it enough in this half. Missed three pointer by Chester. Salford pick up possession with a pass ahead. A missed layup, but the there put, it is again. But the putback is good. The putback is good. They got out on the break. They ran. And there's three successful buckets in a row of them just getting out on the fast break and making them pay. Yeah, 100 percent. And a three point to miss there from a Chester perspective oh, as we uh, tick into the final seconds of this quarter and Chester holding out the possession midway inside their own half. Stall Stole the ball back on the fast break. Just tipped it up to themselves and took it off Salford. Ball's in number 10's hands and it's off the front of the rim this time. Unlike him, as the Clapton goes for half time. From a Chester perspective, you'd be very happy. You'd be very, very happy. You're 47-21 up at the half. It's going to be very difficult for Salford to get back from this. It's going to be very difficult, but it's not impossible. They've seen moments, moments of success. Yeah, it certainly has. Um, I'm going to take a short break, um, and, and after that, uh, I've got some more analysis um, from the studio. Rewind selector. Rewind selector. Rewind selector. Rewind selector. Rewind of students across the country have started and returned to university during the global pandemic. Annual National Student Television Awards.
And we're back. We'd just like to first of all say apologies for any technical difficulties with the cameras. It has been obviously very tough covering this event, especially with the crowds we've got. They're bursting right, into the they're gallery. They're literally coming at us with force while Honestly. we're trying to watch the match. <laughs> but the score currently 47-21. I don't know about you guys, but I thought it was looking like a real whitewash for Chester, wasn't it? It was a little bit, yeah. But I, I, I'm a bit worried, I'll be honest, but you never know. Well, it looked worse at first. I don't know if you thought the same on comms, Adam, but it looked worse. And then I think gradually Salford start to work their way back into it? it? It was something that me and Ben were saying, we were talking about exploiting uh, Chester's mistakes uh, and, and Chester were doing that from a, a Salford perspective as well, that the mistakes that both sides have uh, been making in the, certainly in the first quarter and, and not so much in the, the second, it's sort of that early pressure from Chester is probably what's paid off for him to, to have that 47-21 lead um, at the break, it's been a, a key um, thing for them that mm. the pressure that they've been able to put on the pace of their side using the wings using the the central uh, part of the court I think is it's a, just making sure that they're all in the right places i think there's absolutely. a lot of cases where they're just not in the right spot and the defense on Chester is so strong at the moment and when they so burst all of the attacks i don't know if we've seen this but it looks like a lot of the three pointers they just seem to be going in I, for Chester. i have no idea how they're doing that it's I'm crazy them and i'm just like how, how are you doing that i can't even throw a ball in the Direction. <laughs> and everyone, but the good news in my ear, we have one American football, is that right? Salford have won another score, so actually, this game is looking really tense. I believe in a second we're going to have another point scoring exercise going on right behind us. Yeah, is it the cheerleading? We've got cheerleading, we've got the setting up the stage. going against the Chester Vixens, and it, we've got the maps out, we're ready to go. Um, it looks like it's going to be a pretty interesting uh, set of uh, dance. They're going to really get their heads in the game for this one. I'll tell you what. They're looking like they're going to be soaring, they're going to be flying. I think, is it Chester or Salford that are going to be going first? I think it's Chester from the south. Just there. listen to the crowd, honestly. I believe that's Salford going first. We've got Salford just walking onto the mats. It's amazing the speed they've actually got the pitch. Have a little look. Look at what's going on. It's unbelievable. Have a little look at that. We've got people shouting, screaming. We've got cheer at the front. We've got cheer at the Here they come. Salford crowd going you can hear the, the, the fans are way too well aware.
a performance that was! That was the most ridiculous thing I've ever seen. There were people in the air, there were people on the floor, they were rolling, they were jumping, they were Honestly, the amount of people that were getting thrown in the air and caught, Terrified. I would, I would never personally. What about yourself? Would you yeah, go? No, definitely not. You could see that the potential for, for injury is just right well, there on, the, than any other on sport. the plate. It's I would say so. I, cheerleading is a ridiculously dangerous sport. They're so strict, so disciplined in everything that they do to make sure that, that they don't drop anyone. And we did see some near drops. It some was quite really scary. close near drops. I mean, you might see it at home. It was, it was pretty it was close. Tense. But um, you can see why it's a point scoring game. I mean, that was crazy. That was right. genuine. And also, the speed at which they've already just got rid of the pitch. I know, They're already not, ready for the next bit of basketball. There's so many sports going on, and you're catching them all right here, right now. It's crazy. The coordination we have today, I think, is incredible. <laughs> it's fascinating. And the crowd, honestly, just as much as the basketball. Maybe even noisier. I would say so. I think everyone was really into that one. But yeah, I mean, definitely. I think I want to start a wave. Yes. I think we need I th a wave. I it think would be I'll, a good I next think... wave that would stop halfway through with think... Salford and then vice versa with Chester. I think, I, I, the other way. I think an interesting thing is, is watching the, the basketball players through that. Obviously, they've been sat on the, the benches on the on the far side from our uh, vantage point. And... and I'll tell you what as well, we had literally a Salford player run up the stairs, run into our gallery and say, excuse me, can I get on this exercise bike? Because bless him. One year ago, he tore his ACL, so he's got to keep it moving. And that's just the level that some of these players are going I to. Think, and, I think, and I think it's the, the sort of, the, you can see the, the warming up again. Cause obviously, I've had a long layoff, sort of 10, 15, 10 or so minutes. And it is very intense. You look so we intense. about it in, in commentary there. And I think it's almost like we're having a, a second warm-up out here to, to get ready for this uh, second uh, yeah, quarter. You've got to make sure that you are completely it's Otherwise, crazy. you're like, I, I can't imagine going into this without doing a bit of a run. Well, it feels I, like they've kind of started a whole new game. They're all doing the exact same things they did at the start, getting the muscles working again. They're it's nice so break. intense. <laughs> I've got to imagine the ankles. Your ankles would be slipping all over the place. Yeah. Really crazy. Uh, I've got a weak foot, so I would be flat out on the floor. Can't crazy. do anything. Crazy. Well, we're going to have a whole other half to, to take you guys through because. Honestly, the score now 47 21. The buzz is going off. It's really going to kick off again. Who knows what's going to happen? Salford, are they going to clear on? Are they going to pull away with it? There's only one way to find out. Yeah. Should we go and have a watch? Maybe. Let's see what's going to happen, guys. <laughs> Hello, and we're back. We're just going to look through the, some of the highlights from the first half. Chester have thoroughly dominated this first half, the first 20 minutes of this game. They were getting easy buckets up and down the court, capitalising on Salford mistakes. Turnovers, sloppiness from Salford were punished, including multiple three pointers from, from Chester. It really caught fire from deep and it really, really punished Salford. And that's how they earned their 26 point lead at the break. Yeah, definitely. We're uh, just seeing some of the uh, the shots of the, the half. We were talking about them uh, just before we, we went to the, uh, the cheerleading there. And some of the three pointers you were mentioning there, Ben, it, it's been quite something from a, a Salford perspective. Um, oh, and what they've been able to do here um, this afternoon, sorry from a Chester perspective I, I should say it's been a, a great afternoon for them um, and they're hoping to, to push that further into this, uh, into this second quarter. But as we're just seeing, Salford have managed to get a few easy points by capitalising on Salford on Chester mistakes. They have managed to force some turnovers and once they get out and run in transition they are able to score some easy points. They just need to do that more often in the second half. Yeah, definitely. I think uh, we mentioned it at the, the start of the. I think it was the end of the first quarter. How Chester sort of got straight out of the blocks. I think from a, a Salford perspective, if they're going to get anything from this game, they, they've got to do that in the, the opening quarter of this um, of this second half and, and get some points on the board. And the players are back out on court, ready to start the third period, ready to kick off the second half. Chester will start with the ball in the second in the second half because Salford had the first possession in the first. It's imperative that Salford don't start off the way that they did before, otherwise this game could get really, really ugly. And a quick turnover from quick turnover from Salford there leads to a quick shot from Chester, three pointer, but it is missed. And the ball went out of bounds off a Salford player and Chester have the ball underneath the basket. A little bit of early sloppiness from Salford. 
but as so far in the second half it has not been punished by Chester we'll see what they do from underneath the basket quick pass in Salford switch the defenders he gets into the lane he kicks it out quick fake pump, pump shot out to three and that's a shot clock violation they did not get the shot off in time 24 seconds pass without a shot from Sol uh, Chester that that results in the ball being turned over to Salford as they take it for four now. Yeah, it certainly does as uh, Chester have got to uh, keep it going in this second half to sustain that lead. Quick pass inside, an offensive rebound. And the first point of the second half go to Salford. It was crashing the offensive boards again. It was getting that offensive rebound and getting the second chance point. They did that a little bit in the first half and it rewards. They just need to do a little bit more of it in the second. Yeah, indeed. You can see Salford on the, the defence here as they excuse me, look to move up on the counter-attack. Stole the ball away from Chester and the basket. And that is a kick ball violation. Ball bounced off the, the feet of a Chester player and results in a Salford ball underneath the basket. Three-point shot and it has gone wide. It's gone wide. Chester ball rebound. As they take it up the court now. Quick three-point shot on the offensive end, and he has made it. That takes their tally up to 50. Another three-pointer from Ch from Chester. 50 points in the game so far. Three-point shot from Salford, and that is just off backboard. But there's an offensive rebound and some easy second chance points. Another offensive rebound and another lay in for, Ch for Salford. They've done that twice so far in this half and it has worked out and it worked for them well in the first half as well. The rebound by Salford there after a Chester miss. They pushed the ball up the court. Pass was just behind the Salford player. And the ball has gone out of bounds. Another turnover for Salford. Yeah, it's. I think Chester have got to be, got to be careful. Obviously, they've got that that 25 point advantage. Um, but as we've seen, a bit of quick scoring can be uh, can be anything in in a game of basketball. Quick three point shot, dead off from the key, but it's missed. But an offensive rebound by Chester. The ball is on the right wing. But, a re but the shot was missed, a rebound by Salford, and the ball was taken up the court. Looking to get into their offensive rhythm, a quick three-pointer from Salford, high off the backboard, but an offensive rebound for Salford, which has led to a shooting foul by Chester. He will go to the line to shoot two free throws. That is the first foul of the quarter. He goes to Chester as substitutions come in to the game for Salford and Chester. First, missed the first free throw attempt of the game for him, but off the back iron, and here's his second. And that one is much better, is a much better result for Salford. One of two from the line this time round. Cuts the lead down to 24. But Salford, Salford don't get back on defence and allow a cheap basket over the top. And as a result of that cheap basket, they've dunked the ball and bent the rim, I believe. I believe the rim is now out of place. Yeah, so uh, I'm a sure always one from the uh, University of Chester Sports Centre with uh, an implement to be able to uh, get this fixed. The uh, clock is going to be stopped. We're still waiting to hear the results um, of table tennis. Um, we're uh, unconfirmed reports that Salford have won in table tennis um, but that is uh, yet to be confirmed officially just don't want to uh, get anyone's hopes up just yet 
I believe actually what it was was that it came loose, the basket came loose a little bit, so they're locked in place of the wall, but it's come a little bit loose. They've just fixed that back in place, and we are underway. Yeah, Chester. Little bounce pass inside. Ball was stripped on the shot mm. attempt, but the ball was regained by Salford. And another another fumble, but regained by Salford. This time, they could not gather the offensive rebound, but the last touch was off a Chester player and out of bounds. Salford ball. It was a quick shot by Salford on the inbound pass. It unfortunately did not go in and neither did the tip in and the follow up. So for Chester now of the ball looking to win their offense. The ball was poked away from the Chester player and out of bounds. Chester ball. Yeah, good bit of pressure from a, a Chester perspective there, Ben. I think they'll be uh, happy they, they got uh, that on the uh, on the counter and you can see the uh, Salford players ready to. Uh, to defend this one as uh, Chester looked to go through the Salford back line as uh, Salford's number 13 comes on the, the break there and it looks to, to tip it over but it's just off the side and there it is though managed to get some points on the board there the follow up rebound they missed the original layup missed the follow up and then finally managed to secure the offensive rebound and get the second, third shot in in that sequence. It's what Salford need to do, it's how they found success, they need to do that more often and to make a conservative effort to do that. However, Chester go at the other end in a quick three-point shot. It, it, it's just so bizarre how, how Chester can do that from absolutely nothing, just from sort of, um, from that, that Salford break and, and to get that and to get three points on the board it's so easy it's been instant offense for them from the from the first quarter Salford working the ball around nicely but that's a shot clock violation failed to get the shot off in time the clock has hit zero and the ball has been turned over to Chester yeah indeed that's some of the the mistakes we were talking about before both sides Looking just, to uh, just those little little mistakes from Salford, as lack of, that lack of concentration, watching the clock, and not being able to get the shot off in time. Yeah, indeed, as Salford looked to come on the break here down the centre of the field. And Salford get another two points on the board. A lovely little move there, dribble up the court, players moving without the ball, getting open, finding some space and they managed to get the shot. Ball poked away by Salford but the possession was regained by Chester. Quick drive from the Salford player, but his shot was blocked and then the ball was thrown out of bounds by Chester. Salford ball. Timeout has been called by Salford. The coach just wants to have a talk over things, talk about how they can get better. Although the lead has not been trimmed, this has been better by Salford. This has been a, a better effort and you can see things working on the offensive end for them. Yeah, definitely. We can see the, the points board there. 55 plays 30. Uh, Chester leading a, a big um, few minutes uh, from a, a Salford perspective as we can hear the, the fans uh, going here to uh, get the support for Salford as we uh, still look to find out the uh, latest from the table tennis. 
our producer Matt Robinson looks over the uh, over the gantry here to to try and get some information on what's going on. You can see the Salford. Because there is a scenario here where even if Salford lose the basketball game that we are currently watching, they can still win varsity. Yeah, that that is uh, that is still uh, a possibility. We're we're waiting to to see the the confirmed result from uh, basketball. Uh, sorry, from <laughs> from table tennis. We're waiting to see the confirmed result from basketball as well. A bit of a, a hive of activity uh, around here in the sports hall as Salford looked to to get on the offense off the back of this timeout and. Salford looking to get in there and it trickles in. Another another, uh, another example of Salford getting quick, easy second chance points, being able to grab, get, grab the offensive rebound and put the ball back in. Chester has stepped out of bounds, Salford ball. Three minutes 30 remaining in the third quarter. Salford have put up a bit more fight and they've looked better in this third quarter. Being active on the offensive rebounds, getting points, looking a little bit more composed on offense, not turning the ball over as much. Commentator's curse, as I say that, he throws the ball out of bounds, Chester ball. Indeed, Salford clawing those points back. So we've got about three minutes of this third quarter remaining I spoke earlier about the the comeback from from Salford in the in the fourth quarter um, in the the game between the two second uh, teams a few weeks ago or sorry last Wednesday um, uh, I think that's what we're seeing I think Chester have have come in from minute one in this one Ben and they've gone on the offensive and, and Salford have sort of been startled by it and now they're, they're having to react yeah, it was, it was pretty immediate from Chester. They were automatic. They got their offense going. They were composed. You could see they were composed. Salford, however, were a little bit on the ropes, turning the ball over, not doing as well as they should have. And Chester were able to run out to an early lead as he makes his second free throw. Oh, to two there. Salford back on the offensive, looking to get their half-court offense set and in practice. Lovely motions, a little spin move in the paint, and a shooting foul by Chester. That is their second of the quarter. That is their second of the quarter, and he will go to the line to shoot two. Foul on the layup attempt. And he has missed the first attempt out of two. Missed the second as well, but Salford crashed the offensive rebound and got second chance points once again. Two more points to Salford following the second free throw miss. Out of bounds, Salford ball as Salford make a substitution. Salford players stepped on the baseline as he was dribbling the ball there. He stepped out of bounds, Chester ball. Yeah, we've got about two and a half minutes of this third quarter remaining. We can see Chester moving forward here as they look to cement their place in this game. An easy dribble drive into the paint there and an easy layup. There was no shot contest contestion from Salford there. It was very relatively easy for Chester. Having said that, Salford have just gone down the other end and done the exact same thing. Easy layup, drive into the paint. Foul 
has been called on the floor. I believe it is a shooting foul. Oh no, it was a reaching foul, common foul. No three throws, just the ball in at the baseline for Chester. Ball was poked away by Salford, but possession never changed hands. Three point shot from Chester, just off the back iron. Salford, Salford picked it up. Turnover, turnover by Salford. Chester are now on the fast break. It's an easy two points for Chester. Easy two points. The score is now 60 36 in the third quarter with a minute 20 remaining. Three pointer from Salford. Oh, the three points from Salford at the top of the key, and it was successful. First of the game for Salford University. Shot missed by Chester, rebound Salford. They look to push the pace, get out of transition. Another three pointer. Oh, just have to back iron. But Salford gain the rebound. Looking to get some second chance points. Step back off the dribble three, off the front iron. And the ball is poked away by Chester. We're on the fast break, and that's an easy layup for Chester. Easy layup with 40 seconds remaining in the, in the quarter. We're not, we're not going into this in Two seconds remaining. Dribble from number eight, dribble into the paint. The dribble three point shot, unsuccessful, second chance point. It didn't even hit the iron, unsuccessful from Salford again. Chester looked to push the pace, coming up the court in transition. Eight seconds remaining, and that is a shooting foul. It'll go to the line and shoot two. About six seconds remaining on this uh, first quarter. Oh, sorry, third quarter, I should say. Going back in time there. Back in time. Never knew you were a time traveller. <laughs> well, if we'd have gone back in time, it might have been better from a, a solved perspective. But Chester here again. We've got one shot remaining here. Two out of two, easy for him. Three points on the line, though, is easy. And the Claxon goes for the end of the third quarter. 64 39 to Chester at the end of the third quarter. Salford down by 26 points, 25 points rather. If I could do the maths, it would, work, it would help, wouldn't it? As the teams regroup ready for the third and fourth and final quarter. Yeah, we can see a, a few of the, the highlights of this quarter. Salford again, re that recovery shot there. We saw that in the first half as they... Uh, have a, have a bit of uh, no, mid-quarter uh, entertainment there from one of the uh, Salford fans. At least the Salford fans have something to cheer about in this basketball game. Indeed. Very um, much a crowd favourite there. One of the uh, Chester members of staff uh, getting involved as well. I don't know whether oh, we can we see that in vision. Here we go. A little bit of light entertainment <laughs> being provided for the crowd. Certainly is. We've got about 45 seconds this until the final quarter. This was not planned. Very much spontaneous. 
as another enters the stage. Maybe this should be a, a sport for uh, 2023. Apologies for any uh, language picked up in the background there from the, the Salford fans. But uh, all in uh, all in good spirits. Big final quarter from a Salford perspective. And what an atmosphere we've got for it, Ben. Final 10 minutes of varsity for 2022. Got plenty of reaction on the way on Keys TV. At the culmination of this after or this evening's proceedings. I don't know that we can see that one more time. There it is, the snake. I'm sure he'd be very grateful of that being replayed <laughs> across Salford for that one. I don't know about you, but that is the highlight of the game for me. That right there. A little bit of light entertainment and the game is back underway. We're 10 seconds into the second half. A quick three-point shot by Chester and they have made it. No hesitation there. They're well underway again. They've not seemed to stop with the three-pointers. They've not seemed to cool down. It's been there for them all night whenever they wanted it. And the chess player has hit the ground there. He's been tripped as he was dribbling up the court. Unintentional, but a foul nonetheless. Ball will be taken out onto the left-hand side and played in. Deep three-point shot into the back iron there. Salford regained possession. They've picked the ball, dribbling up the court. Ball was stripped away from Salford there. And Chester are on the fast break. Another quick three-pointer. And this one's made there two for three already on three points in this half. Three shots taken, all of them three-pointers. Two of them made. It's really quite impressive what they've been able to do. Offensive ball by Salford, miss. Second offensive rebound, miss. Third offensive rebound, block. And then finally on the fourth offensive rebound, Salford have managed to put back the second chance points. Yeah, they certainly have. Chester looking to launch the break though as that's over the top. Rebound from that three-pointer regained by Salford. A bounce pass has gone awry, out of bounds. Another turnover from Salford. Another turnover from Salford. It'll be Chester ball on the left-hand sideline. Dribble penetration and kicked out to the three-point line by Chester. Drive inside to the top of the key, a jump shot, but has rimmed out and missed. Rebound by Salford as they take it up the court again. Looking to find a little bit of offensive spark. Three-pointer, high arcing shot, back off the rebound. No good for Salford. Chester once again back on the attacker, drive into the lane and an acrobatic shot that has missed the mark. Salford get the rebound and an easy drive to the basket and lay up for Salford. Another two points. 70-43 now, 70-43 with seven minutes 30 remaining in the fourth and final quarter. Yeah, big few minutes for Salford and their uh, varsity hopes. Poor shot from Salford there. Salford player protesting, saying that he was hit on the arm as he went up for the shot. Rumpire did not agree and did not give the foul. Chester come away, drain another three-pointer. It's too easy for them. They make it look really, really simple. They stretch the lead to 30 points now. Salford three-pointer, wide left. Chess are just taking their time now, knowing that the win is pretty much in the bag for them, barring a, a remarkable comeback from Salford. Yeah, definitely, Ben. It, it's certainly been the the more dominant performances from a, a Chester side today. They'll have um, 
tactic and obviously we, we talked about the football in, in the build-up. That's been close. We talked about the uh, the softball. That was close. The American football with the, the rugby union, which uh, I know you saw a bit of earlier today that we thought Salford were, were home and hosed in that one. And then Chester taking it 27-24. It's, it's certainly been a, a close afternoon or a, a close day. Just as makes, a whole just makes the competition even better when you have those close scores you have those tight tight games across all sports it, yeah, re definitely. it really does this one however not so close yeah it certainly has been on the one-sided front as uh, that's nice. another shot clock violation for Jess the third of the game but their second didn't get the shot up in time. Ball goes to Salford. It is their possession. Five, six minutes remaining in the half. Ball goes deep into the post from Salford. A little jump hook, but no good. Ball knocked out of bounds by Chester. Salford ball underneath the basket as substitutions and changes are made. Yeah, indeed. We've got about half of the time to go shit Salford with the ball underneath the basket ball into the post area shot miss rebound miss shooting foul on the shot there layup attempt was fouled on the arm two three throws for Salford yeah, indeed. There's, there's a bit of uh, words said between the the two benches there. But uh, it's a key few minutes in the varsity campaign. Chester leading heavily here. Time out, caught by Salford. They just want to uh, discuss some things, talk over talk over the remaining five minutes and see what they can do and get out of this game. Yeah, clock stops here as you can see the Salford coaching staff going through a few final messages as we head into the last quarter. They've done what we said they needed to do in the first half, get some second chance points and some easy baskets. They've done that a little bit more in the third and fourth quarter, but unfortunately they started a little bit too late now. You can see some of the shots that have come in in the, the last few minutes. They've certainly been key from a, a Salford perspective to, to get some points on the board. They have, they have improved over the course of the game. They have looked better. They have got into their rhythm. It was just the early stages in which they looked a little bit at times flustered giving the ball away which cost them dearly do you think that do you think that's down to the the start that chester made and the the impact that, that they had on the game in the opening couple of minutes yeah i think chester came out very strong as we all know they're a league above so they have that, that, that added uh, confidence in their game and they came out very strong very quickly and, and got off to a very quick start which i think uh from yeah definitely so one out of two free throws there. Turnover by... Turnover by Chester. Fast break, slam dunk by Salford. Crowd enjoyed that one, that's for sure. Yeah, they certainly did. They, uh, Chester looks come again here, but uh, they managed to get it in. I thought he might have gone a bit too far there. Did the Chester number 10, but uh, a good shot nonetheless. Another miss by Salford. Chester looked to push the pace, looked to get it up court quickly, looking for options. 
quick ball movement on the outside on the perimeter led to a three-point shot that was missed. Salford looking to get back up court, looking to set their own offence. Three-pointer from Salford and he banks it off the backboard and in. Banks it off the backboard, hits off the backboard and in. And he's loving that one and so are the, so are the Salford fans. Yeah, the Salford fans enjoyed that one there and look at it. The height on that one. Brilliant Into the shot. Hair. Brilliant shot. A little celebration at the end. He loved it. The fans loved it. And he tries again. He tried again and not far off. Runs back up the court with a smile on his face. Looks like he's enjoying himself despite the score. Well, Salford certainly getting the points on the board here, Ben, and it's getting that crowd going. Another slam dunk from Salford, another fast break point. They're really enjoying themselves now. Despite the score, the players are sprinting up the sidelines, celebrating, having fun with a smile on their face. It's great to see. This is what Varsity is all about. Yeah, it certainly is. We've seen a lot of comebacks throughout the day. I don't think one's quite on here, but... Uh, See the, the celebration there from the uh, from the fans. Chance of would, Salford deafen it would the be, ground here. It would be a rather large comeback. But never say never. You never know. You never very know. true. Very true. Need quite a few three pointers though. Yeah. Yeah. Some dramatic things would have to happen, and if they happened, we'd, it, we'd be in for a hell of a game. As the Salford players start to try to G up their own crowd now, their own fans. The fans rising to the occasion, supplying their team with some energy, some support. Point shot by Chester. A little bit of a fumble as he reached half court. Passes it off. And he passes it off. Three point shot made by Salford. They're really feeling themselves now. Starting to gain some confidence late in the fourth quarter. But Chester respond with their own, a three-pointer of their own. Straight back down the court. Yeah, indeed. There's uh, a substitution made by... A double substitution made by Chester with two and a half minutes or just over that on the clock. And a big three minutes or so in the Varsity campaign. Everyone here in the sports hall. Salford look to get some more points on the board. And there goes another couple of points. A lovely little soft pass inside and then a lovely little layup to finish it off. Very delicate but very nice. Well worked by Salford. Yeah, indeed, as Chester come again. And another three-point shot from them. That is certainly something they've got in the lock of the three-point shots from a Chester perspective. It's been the, the key asset for them today. And there go Salford with their own uh, three-point shot. Very much tip for tat at the minute. Whatever you can do, I can do better. They're almost saying to each other. Indeed. Making the game very fun for us and the fans. Steal by Salford. Pass ahead. Another dunk from Salford. Great defence leads to great offence. They were able to get our run and secure the quick points. Yeah, Salford certainly enjoying this third, the fourth and final quarter as they look to impact Chester there, but that isn't the case. And Salford there once again. 
We'll see what it means to the Salford fans there. Quick, easy points. A good, wholesome, good effort, good energy. Despite only one minute 25 left, they're still fighting despite being 20 points down. They're still fighting to the show. And that's certainly what they're doing. Yeah, indeed, as uh, Chester looked to move forward, a bit of movement there from the Chester number nine, but uh, an infringement spotted by the referee. For about a minute of normal, a minute of time remaining here in the third and final, fourth and final quarter. Another three pointer from Salford, high up the glass for the rebound, and the easy put back points. And the Chester players step out of bounds, he broke the basket on the baseline. Just touching line, solve a ball. They take it inside, lovely little move, but why? But why? Chester ball with 26 seconds remaining. The score is 83 65 for Chester. Salford have certainly rallied in this second half and this fourth quarter, but it's a little bit too late. Yeah, indeed. Salford fans rallying the side on there. 15 seconds on the clock. Two pointer, two pointer there by Chester. You see it on the, the face of the players there. The effort that's gone into. Uh, the game today from every single sporting competitor as uh, there it is Chester take this basketball I'm going to get some live reaction for you um, very shortly followed by the presentation we can see what it means to the uh, Chester fans away to our left hand side you can hear the uh, <laughs> adult seat tones of our presenter Luca Hughes Piper in the background there we'll, we'll hear from him in just a couple of minutes they really did leave it out there both both out there on the court. Salford, Salford really came back into it, really put some spirit and heart into it towards the end. Really came close, it, it put on a show for, the, for their fans and for themselves. But unfortunately, it was the first couple of quarters that did the damage for them. Chester got off to a quick start, but unfortunately, unfortunately, unfortunately the damage was done and they couldn't, they couldn't claw back that deficit. But they, brilliant. They, it was a brilliant game. It was a brilliant example of sportsmanship and what the game of basketball can be. And I think I can say, safely say, for all the fans here, they thoroughly, thoroughly enjoyed it. The crowd here have just been electric the whole time. The whole recording. time. I mean, honestly, standing up here, listening to them, as I feel like it's given me like a zest for life. I'm so ready to just go out and party. Just... It's amazing. And sadly, that is what, seven straight defeats for Salford now. But Varsity might still be crowned with Salford. We're yet to find out. The award ceremony will fill us in on what the final score is across the whole day of events. And that award ceremony is actually going to be right here behind us. So we might even We've got our reporter Adam Clark down on the ground. He's going to fill us in. He's going to have a look around because the amount of people that are just strewn across now, absolutely loving life. They're all running into the court, hugging the players, hugging the teams. On it, it's such a 
such a heartfelt moment to see everyone so happy that, you know, the last sport's done and Absolutely. it's out the way and we're going to the awards and everyone's just coming together in such a lovely, lovely way. And what do you think it was? What tipped it in Chester's favour? Uh, oh, well, apparently we're going to Let's get down, let's ask Adam. Let's, let's see what he reckons. Can you hear me upstairs?
there may be a fire drill because the Chester support have all gone. Yeah, but the South right Lake are in their numbers. They're still chanting behind us. It's been a great day for sport, and honestly, it has been a really respectful one, except there for some slight been. instances there's at the end. There's been some booing, there's been a little bit of beer throwing, but what do you expect when you're in the heat of such a such a long, long day worth of sports where everyone's getting so involved? And for the fans that have waited all day, some of them have arrived at about 9, 10 in the morning to watch the first events, to stay all day and have this as a reward. It must mean so much to them. And they're still here, and we're still here till later. I mean... Well, it's not going to stop, is it now? The I celebrations are going to come on. I think Salford might be moving to Chester temporarily. For I mean, a while. we're looking now. We've got crowds all together. We've got people on shoulders. People playing basketball still. I don't know if they've uh, stopped already. We've got the, the trophies being passed around as it should be to every team because they all deserve, I think, a little bit of that victory, honestly. It's been so nice to see today. It's Obviously, amazing. I'll tell you what. Have the crowd stopped chanting? I don't think they have. <laughs> I don't think I've had a lick of like silence since I got here. All day, the crowds have been really going wild for both teams and really just, just bringing it home for us. And after two years, two yeah. years of no varsity, it's so nice to see this scene. Well, we heard the boos that emerged when they said, obviously, we had no varsity for the last two years because everyone's so sick of not being in person again. Yeah. And the fact that everyone is back again, playing sports together, having the crowds that we saw today, it does just make it that bit more exciting, doesn't it's it? It's just so exciting. You know what, going into it each year now, I think we're really going to realise how special this event is, purely because of the fact that we did have that two-year break, and now we're back, we're going to carry on, and it's just going to get better and better. And I think Salford, we're going to want to carry on that win, that winning streak. Well, I think these guys are going to stay here till next year. The way they're celebrating, they might not leave. They might no. just stay in this gym. Even if you're a third year and you're on your way out, you're staying in Chester for varsity next year, <laughs> just for the fun of it. I can't believe it. I mean, we've got some police down at the moment trying to disperse a few of the slightly larger areas of the crowd. But to be honest, it's been really well behaved, hasn't it? It has actually been. I really thought there was going to be a bit more lariness, a bit yeah. more fighting, maybe so a few ruder words being uh, being shouted out. But exactly. It's, uh, it's been quite tame. I'm very And impressed. what they've done is they've gathered the most competitive people from Manchester and Salford. And the most competitive people from Chester, they've put them all in one room. Right, Crazy. it seems that we're going down to Adam, who's got an interview downstairs with us. So we're going to go down to him now. And Let's go have a look on the ground, see what's happening. Pass it over. Let's go. Well, uh, I'm with AJ from the, the Swimming Society. AJ, uh, just, just put into to words what that means today. Oh, it's brilliant. We've won it on their home turf. We've won on their home turf, so... We, I mean, we only won by one point, so every point counted, but we won ours. Everybody else has done their bit. It's just brilliant. And how did the, how did the swimming go today? Swimming was excellent. We, uh, we beat them by quite a bit, so I think uh, it's, it's a good result all round. And is there going to be a, a party back in atmosphere tonight? Oh, don't be daft. Of course there is. There's going to be a party back home. Definitely. And uh, for next year, are you hoping to to retrieve that, hope retain, retain that title back over at uh, Appeal Park? I mean, I'd love to, but I'm not here next year, but I'll be there in spirit, and if not, I'll book the day off work. <laughs> I'll turn up and I'll support the team. Brilliant. AJ, thank you very much uh, for your time. Thank you. Right. Um, I'll uh, hand you back to uh, Courtney and Luca. Okay now, from the beginning. Hit it, boys. 